Zombie virus covers the world. Today as well Roar kills zombies very skillfully. Recap starts now. The world has changed and it's full of zombies. Since the world changed, the zombies he killed with a rifle probably can't be counted. Rourke loses wife to a zombie a long time ago. And Rourke has a strict rule. The first is to survive alone. Second, killing all zombies in the world. He became a complete zombie killer by staying alone because of his anger at zombies. That moment, a car approaches Rourke. Armed with rifles they stop in front of someone who appears to be human. Ma'am, are you okay? So, when they go closer and check. Ma'am. Suddenly he shoots someone. They get caught in a trap. Cover. They are completely attacked by plunderers and Sam is left alone. Don't move, bitch. Look. Take the car. And then the plunderers do bad to Sam. You made us hungry. But at then, work is coming. He also kills plunderers one by one like zombies. Sam escaped death thanks to Rourke, so she asks Rourke to come to shelter. A lot of them used to be cops. Where is it? Rourke didn't want to go there because of rule, but he moving there to solve the lack of ammo and oil. The two almost there, but they bring a lot of zombies. Isn't it, Sam? Open the door, we're coming in. In shelter, ready to welcome Rourke and Sam safely. Those people used the police station as shelter, so they could gather a lot of people and survive zombies with enough weapons. <laughs> Safely come back to the shelter, but most of them are wary of Rourke. They're gonna bring back the wrong kind. No, no, listen to me, Paler Easy. Almost fuel and ammunition. When everyone is disorder, Sam ends this situation. It's not even a hundred miles from here. It's a cargo plane. It'll carry every single one of us. She went out to search and found a transport plane that could carry everyone and leave. They decided to leave here next morning. Leave at the crack of dawn. And before that, Stranger Rourke will locked up for a while. Thanks for bringing Sam home safe. As night fell, also each family in the day in lockup. But the day doesn't pass peacefully. Intelligent zombies broke all the surveillance cameras at the police station. Then zombies invaded. <laughs> Fortunately, not all zombies came here so they could pass the crisis. But. A man is bitten by a zombie. Oh, fuck me, he's bleeding. The man is a father with a daughter. Daddy loves you. But Frank, the chief there, calmly shoots him. Uh, wait. The sun is rising. They see something just before everyone leaves. Holy shit. The night before, zombies made a fence to block cars from passing by. Chasing us all the way to the airport. If we even made it there, we'll be right back when As the plan go wrong, Rourke suggests one way. Take out their leader. What? I kill that alpha. Be ripping each other apart to take his place. But it's dangerous because there's no sunlight at home ground where the leader of zombies is. Yes. Will you give me what I want? And I'll at least make that a possibility. In the end the plan begins. Rourke and the men become a team. We're gonna be in the deepest, darkest hole in this place. After arriving, they search from the first floor. But there are no trace of leader yet. Then they go down to the basement. All zombies are sleeping there. They are careful not to wake them up. 
A man goes to put a bomb in the middle of them. Suddenly a zombie attacks from behind. That is the leader. The sleeping zombies all wake up to the roar of the leader alpha. Rourke and Ethan go up to avoid zombies. And keeps going up. Colleagues cannot escape so they choose death with zombies. Only the two survive and arrive at the sunny rooftop. To escape, the two have to go back down to get the rope colleague Chris had. So the two go back to the zombie den. When Ethan takes the rope from Chris, zombie Chris attacks him. Ethan inevitably shoots his colleague and exits there. Let's go. Now they are getting ready to go down from the rooftop, but there's a problem. Ethan is bitten by a zombie. I tell you something, there is a bright side, at least I don't get eaten by one of those things. As time goes on, Ethan became a zombie. Rest easy, bro. Eventually the plan fails and even loses all colleagues because they failed to kill the leader. At this time, survivors from other groups got bus to escape. Anybody need a ride? <laughs> and up there, a man see the Rourke running towards here with all the zombies. So they try to defend from zombies that come running, but it was different from before. It was quickly occupied by zombies. And even if they shoot, Leader Alpha doesn't die easily. Those who survived were cornered. And someone runs away alive, but it's not safe outside either. The survivors at the police station have no hope of staying still. Ready to make that stand? So it's really quite simple, folks. Rourke and colleagues ready for a head-to-head. -head. It's up to you. Going back to the block door. They spread out and continue to kill zombies. While the plan was going smoothly, it's all right. We're good to go, baby. Okay. Colleagues are attacked by zombies. One by one, all colleagues are dying. Rourke is the only one who will end this situation. And to do that, killing the leader Alpha is the most likely way. Then reach a dead end. Rourke is completely exhausted. Finally, he puts all his energy into the last car. No matter who is Leader Alpha, there's a weak point of sunlight. The plan was successful. And survivors also wait safely on the bus. You're not coming with us, are you? Still more of them out there. Rourke returns to his rules and leaves for a war that doesn't end. The movie is over. Thank you for watching Movie Go Channel's Movie Recap. Next time, if you want to watch fun and various movie recaps, please subscribe and like.